Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Messner again, and this week I have a new book for you. This week's book is What Do You Do With a Chance? It's written by Kobe Yamada, and it's illustrated by Mae Basem. I hope that you really enjoy it. And while I'm reading the book, I want you to think about what do you do with a chance? Do you hold back when a chance prevents itself? Do you act like you don't care about the opportunity? Do you let it slip away? I hope that you'll enjoy the book and think about those things while I'm reading. What do you do with a chance? One day I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance? I wondered. There's the chance right there. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back. And so it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I wanted to reach for it, but I missed and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Hmm. Until one day, I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid, and I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, Maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shining far off in the distance. Is it possible, I hoped? Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as I could towards it. I don't know how to explain it. But the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time I was ready. 
and as it came by, I reached out and grabbed it. I held on with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So, what do you do with a chance? You take it because it might just be the start of something incredible. The end. Have you ever had a chance and you felt too afraid to take it? I wonder what would have happened if you tried. Whenever I try something new, it's usually half exciting and half scary. But I find that if I can be a little bit brave, I can do it. And I'm always really proud of myself for taking that chance. I hope that this story helped you and inspired you to take the chances that might come into your life. You never know when a chance once taken might be the one to change everything. Have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon.